evening and thanks for joining us. A former student files a federal lawsuit against Vincennes University. She claims the university offered her no support after she claimed she was raped and confined in a male student's apartment for 11 days. The student claims she had to withdraw from the university because of this. She's also suing the male student whom the university expelled. News 10's John Swanner has more in tonight's top story. John? Thanks, Mike and Patrice. Attorneys for the female student claims that the male student in question, Valdemar Castellano, was no stranger to VU police or the dean of students. In the complaint, they claim several female students reported harassment, unwanted sexual contact, and even the brandishing of knives against Castellano. Still, he was never disciplined by VU nor faced any criminal charges. The victim claims to have been raped a total of six times during the 11 days. The female student said after she escaped from Castellano, she reported the rapes to Vincennes University Police. They referred her to Hope's Voice, which advocates for sexual assault victims. Castellano was ultimately dismissed from the university and the female student withdrew the following March. Her attorneys claim due to VU's quote, deliberate indifference, end quote, to Castellano's past, the university allowed him to be on campus the fall of 2013, subjecting their client to the incidents outlined in the complaint. An attorney for Vincennes University told News 10 it's the university's policy not to comment on pending litigation. Back to you. All right, thank you, John.